Here we go. Hi there, it's Scott Benton, and today I'm wearing headphones. And I'm wearing headphones because I'm kind of in a potentially noisy area, as I've been before, and I just want to make sure that, um, that we mitigate some of that noise coming to us. I'm speaking once again with Bree Barris. Bree Barris is the Director of Growth and Alumni Services at, hi Bree, at the Chi-Fi Fraternity National Headquarters in Georgia outside of Atlanta, right? Um, yes. We wanted to just post a quick interview because Bree uh, and Chi-Fi National actually have some exciting news to tell us about. So why don't you go ahead and tell us what has happened, Bree? Absolutely. Um, so uh, for the last several months, years, everything, there has been conversations about us expanding west with Chi-Fi. And um, we are one more step in that direction with the approval last week that we are going to be expanding to the University of California in San Diego. And so I think as I when I spoke last, um, we were one of five finalists. And um, we are very pleased to say that we have been accepted as the finalist um, to, uh, to uh, expand there in the fall of 2016. And then the Pi Kappa Phi fraternity will be following us in fall of 2018. So they did expand. Uh, extend to two groups, but uh, we are the first one that will be going. And just for me, on a side note, in the way that the USC chapters, the Eta Delta chapter, is there a um, Greek letter designation for UCSD? No, we will not know that. Um, whenever we have a cold start, which this is, which means we've never been there before, mm -hmm. um, they do not get their designation until they uh, petition a charter and receive their charter. So, so like ASU, ASU is referred to as the a Arizona State University Colony, and hopefully here in the next several months when they successfully petition a charter, they will receive their Greek designation. Okay, so for, we just refer to them as the UCSD Colony? Correct. Okay. Okay. Very cool. The UCSD colony is on deck. And so what happens now that Chi-Fi has been uh, approved at UCSD? You know, when, time-wise, when might we actually see a group of people that represent the UCSD chapter or colony? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so we um, were selected to expand in the fall of 2016 which is a year and a half away from now. And so what will happen is over um, the next year and a half, um, we will be working with the school and with local area alumni to get everything in place um, to be on the ground there. Um, we have not designated the exact date that we would start. I'll th I think it would probably be around September, early October of 2016. But that is when my team of two expansion specialists will go on, um, on the ground for about six to seven weeks to recruit the first group of founding fathers. And so we will actually not um, be recruiting on the campus until then. Um, they actually have another fraternity that is going to be expanding starting um, in the next month or so. Um, but so th that gives them enough time to, for them to expand and them to start, and then we'll come in um, next fall. And so, um, you know, the next steps right now are really just cultivating um, the alumni, cultivating everything we're going to do there to make sure that our, we are successful. And this is typical. Usually, um, it's, we, you know, like to have anywhere from about six months to even a year and a half like this to really make sure that we have everything lined up so that we're successful once we get on the ground. Very cool. Well, that's all, that's all exciting news. Um, and I think that you had mentioned the UCSD campus operates a little bit differently in terms of their Greek system. Um, will there actually be a, a physical house, a structure at UCSD for this colony turn chapter? Um, actually, there will not be. And so um, UCSD does not ha have any fraternity or sorority houses on campus. So um, similar to where we are at a lot of different campuses where either we are not housed on their campus or they are not a housed community is the exact same way we will um, be at um, UCSD. And so with that, you know, we'll utilize classroom space and, um, you know, that's where their chapter meetings will be and that's where they'll meet. Um, and, you know, be very similar to, of course, the other organizations there. We don't, we actually don't see that as a problem at all because we've had, you know, so much success um, at, on unhoused campuses. And so, um, you know, we're just excited to be part of a very thriving and progressive community um, that is UCSD. Yeah, very cool. Well, and their system's a little different than 
the U USC system, for instance, where uh, USC has a row and uh, right. and they don't have that. Uh, I know you're going to be looking for any Chi-Fi alumni, whether they're Ada Delta or not, who actually live in the San Diego area, uh, hoping that they'll want to get involved in establishing this this new chapter at UCSD. Um, and if anybody wanted to get involved and contact you, how how can they get in touch with you? Absolutely. Um, well, of course, um, anyway, anytime you ever want to get in touch with me, um, you know, of course, email me, call me, all of my information is online. Um, but also, one of the best ways is going to be uh, on April uh, 12th, Sunday, April 12th, um, I will actually be in San Diego um, hosting an event. Um, we need to, I uh, need to look into exactly where that event will be, but it will more than likely be in the La Jolla area, and it will be at 6 o'clock that Sunday. And what we're going to be doing is having an event to get local alumni together to talk about the effort to see what it all is involved with you know, creating a fraternity uh, at UCSD from scratch and seeing who wants to be involved with that. So if, they, if you have any interest, I would say absolutely put that uh, date on your calendar. And if for any reason you can't attend it, um, don't hesitate to reach out to me via you know phone or email. Okay. Um, and once again, that's going to take place in San Diego on April 12th around 6 p.m. or so. Get in touch yes. with get in touch with Bree if you would like to connect with them and get involved in this effort. Um, also, I actually have a copy of the PowerPoint deck that you put together that you presented to the uh, UCSD IFC. If, do I have all my letters correct? Um, you do. I do. And if you want to take a look at what they did to convince UCSD to allow Chi-Fi onto their campus, you can always email me and I will send it to you. My email address is scott.benton at iCloud.com. And I'll post that uh, underneath, I'll post that underneath um, this video so that you have it. Um, okay. Now, I also understand in addition to the meeting that's going to take place in San Diego on April 12th, there's also going to be another meeting that takes place the next day, Monday the 13th, and that one's going to be in Los Angeles. And instead yes. of concentrating on the UCSD colony, um, we're going to instead be focusing on Ada Delta and bringing that chapter back to the USC campus. That's going to be in Los Angeles in the evening of Monday, April 13th. And uh, maybe you can give us a, we, we don't quite know where that's going to be yet, but we will let you know. And we're looking for uh, our alumni, our Ada Delta alumni, to come and meet Bree uh, on Monday the 13th. Please put that on your calendar to come and join us. And tell us maybe a little bit about what we want to accomplish at that meeting. Um, oh, absolutely. I mean, I think right now um, I've been working with uh, what I would say is the core group of your alumni who've been, um, you know, invested in getting this off the ground. But one of the things that we know is that it moves from being a core alumni to all alumni of Ada Delta. And so what we would really hope is to see, you know, those of you all who are in the area who are interested in making this happen um, to come out and, you know, very similar to what we're doing at UCSD um, to learn about what it takes. And so, um, you know, I can I'll be providing updates from things that I know where the school stands, things that I know from where we stand, and, you know, really just being able to answer any questions from, um, you know, what it's going to take from all of us working together to, um, you know, when U.S., when UCF, sorry, I have all these acronyms. That's okay, when me too. USC um, does open for expansion that we are ready to um, propose and to show all the support that we have um, lined up for that potential expansion. Fantastic. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you again, and hopefully we'll have uh, many of our alumni show up and uh, who want to meet you as well. Um, and finally, moving forward and sort of to ride on that, on that last um, uh, meeting announcement, what, what do you think that national needs from our Ada Delta alumni to really, really help push the needle on getting the Ada Delta chapter back onto the USC campus? What do you need from us? I mean, I think, again, it's just, um, you know, we can't stress support enough um, because one of the things that any, um, you know, any school looks at when we're expanding is it, it's not about the number of alumni that you have because, um, you know, for a school, you could say that you have 2,000 alumni within a 50-mile radius or you could say you have 20 alumni. And sometimes it's looked at negatively that you have 20 alumni, but if you have 20 alumni, that are more than willing to be there and step up and to be supportive 
and then the group that has 2,000 alumni only has one out of those 2,000 alumni, that's the difference. So it's showing not only that we have the alumni by numbers, but we also have committed alumni that want to be there to support. And so I think that is, you know, the biggest thing that I can continue to ask for you all is, you know, not only saying that we have this amount of alumni, but that we have the commitment from them that, you know, be it that, you know, no, is every single Ada Delta alumni going to be able to be a chapter advisor? No, not necessarily. But can we say that we have Ada Delta alumni that are going to be there, are going to be present, are going to be at events, are going to be able to show their support in any way that they can? Absolutely. And so I think that is, again, just continuing to, you know, help us and decide what your support structure is going to look like is going to be the biggest thing. Um, you know, from my last call, um, there are no uh, more updates from the school. Um, you know, I will be touching base with them, seeing them in person here in a couple of weeks. Um, so that's positive. And hopefully, uh, you know, when I have the meet, when I see you all on that Monday night, um, I will definitely have um, interacted with Ray Carlos uh, and um, I will have seen him that weekend. So I will have more updates you know, from them um, at that point, if not before. But as of right now, it really is just that, you know, support factor while we wait on them to, you know, be at a point where they're going to officially open for expansion. Awesome. Well, it's all great news. And thank you so much for all the work you did for getting, um, for getting the uh, colony approved at the UCSD campus and everything you're doing for Ada Delta and getting us back onto the USC campus. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the 13th and we're, we're looking forward to seeing everyone else as well. Please come out and join us. There will be information that will be posted on the Facebook page as well as emails sent out so that we know what time and what place. And, um, and I look forward to seeing you, I guess, in a couple, two, three weeks or so. Yes, so. three weeks. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, Bree, thanks so much for talking to me, to us, and uh, I look forward to our next Skype video update. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let me know if y'all need anything, okay? Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. All right. Okay, bye. bye.